Growing up on the farm, I learned a great deal from my father, who was just a very fine Christian man. And it was his desire that we go to church every Sunday. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. My dad, being a pastor, took a call to a little place in Nebraska called Juniata. My parents said I could go to Seward, which at the time had a boarding high school that was Concordia. There was this good-looking football and track star in college <laughs> who turned out to be my husband, who turned out to be Nobby. After her senior year in high school, she went away to nurse's training in Hastings, Nebraska, and I was assigned my first teaching position in Hastings, Nebraska. And a year later, we were married. In 1958, he accepted the call to teach sixth grade at St. John's, and we've been here ever since. After that, I became the assistant principal, which I held for 12 years. I then became principal for six years until I accepted the call to teach and coach at Luther High School. Nobby was one of the, the many people at Orange Lutheran when I was a student here who encouraged me to go into ministry because he knew the impact that you would have on the rest of a kid's life uh, during those formative years. I taught and coached at Lutheran High School for 19 years. I was a school nurse at St. John's for 37 years. They do what they do because they love Jesus, they want to share Jesus, and all their kids went to Lutheran High and received a Christian education. So they see the fruits of that labor, so that keeps them motivated to keep doing it. They are the definition of what it means to be in Christian service to others. The, the service at the thrift store is evidence of that. They started working there prior to the beginning of this school and continue to this day solely for the sake of other people. Everything in their lives is devoted to serving Christ and they inspire everyone around them. If we have been an influence in someone's life, in our own children's lives, in each other's lives, it's by the grace of God. It's God's blessing and His provision for us in our lives as we look back in all of the things of which we have done and which we continue to do. What do you think keeps Nobby going? <laughs> He's amazing. Right now, a pacemaker. <laughs> He's had a pacemaker since May, and if I couldn't keep up with him before, I can't definitely now. He just has lots of energy. He's always been a people person. He loves people. He loves the Lord.